Hi to all. In the last video we have made this uh, walk away uh, tensile structure and in this video here we will go and pattern it. So let's take off the plot of the stresses and let's enter the pattern let's select the first tensor group so we would like to start patterning this one here I will use for this patterning the optimal cutter you see as soon as I recall this tool it shows the two main rails with these dots. These will be the two rails on which my cutter will move. In the options, we have the width of the pattern, so 1.3 meters, so I want patterns all the same width. Um, a tolerance of 5 centimeters, so my, our patterns can be 135 or 125 and all the other options, we can leave them as they are and then we just say generate curves so we see that a number of curves have been generated over this surface we click on generate patterns and we see that all the patterns have been generated in one shot we can check if they are correct and turn back to the second one we want to pattern the second, the second part now and um, I activate it. If we do again the optimal cutter with 1.3 meters and generate the cutting curves, we can easily see that the curves do not match. These seam lines do not match the previous one. So how can we fix them? These can be easily fixed. We can click on this side and move the cutter point here. like this so we can easily fix th these uh, seam curves like that so one side is done. The problem is that on the other side, I would like make them uh, nicely spaced. How can we do that? We can go into the drawing tools. We call the tool arch, start, endpoint, and on point, and we can draw an arch over this uh, this edge here, like this. I have made this uh, this arch here. We can recall the tool uh, tessellate by distance and we will input again 1.3 meters. Select the curve and we find the number of dots at 1.3 meters, meters over the curve. So we can easily move now our seam curves to those points and snap over them. This one doesn't have a point on that one, and this one here. Remove this one. And the last one is like that. So, we could recall generate patterns, and we have again the second module pattern. Uh, let's turn back. We activate the third one. In the pattern, uh, recall optimization and generate cutting curves. Again, well, these nearly we fix the edges that are not in position, like this. This one, you can move it here.
Here, one is missing. Here, we need another one. I move this. And... Use the control key when I release it. So we make a, a copy. And then we move the other end here. Again, I would like to, I need to know where to place the endpoints of these SIM cards on the other edge. So we will again, we will use the draw tool. Like this. And then the create points by distance 1.3. Okay, and this is my curve, and that's it. So we have these points here, and we can move again and snap to the points there, the same curves. This one, we don't have a point here. it and we can generate patterns again so we see how our surface is coming out so in the same way we can make all the other modules thanks for watching